So we're working with the, the Durham uh, and Cleveland Police Forces and we're taking some training scenarios into virtual reality and then using a technique to measure uh, signals from the brain to try and unpick what those officers are, are doing in terms of the neuro neurology, the neuroscience of their decision making at these critical times. We would like to uh, improve police training. We would like to support the police in improving their training and helping them understand how decisions are being made by the police officers in stressful situations. On the other hand, we want to understand the basic science as well of complex decision making because so far all the science has been the, was, the, was conducted in laboratory experiments. It's not very realistic. So for the first time, uh, over the past few years, science has the opportunity to use virtual reality to understand complex decision making. So with the police, we're doing it in very confrontational, very stressful uh, scenarios, uh, to shoot or not to shoot, to use lethal force or not, uh, but it can be extended to other scenarios like driving, for instance, or also to uh, airlines, piloting, You can see these, these markers in the data which tell, tell me what event happened and, and exactly when with millisecond precision um, they actually happened and I can see the moment that the person responded um, and what they responded with. So it doesn't look like it here but I can see uh, that that's a number eight and that means that they saw somebody with a knife and that's a number two which means they grabbed a taser. We're looking for specific uh, brain signatures that we know from previous research from other groups for, uh, from past decades uh, that have been related to decision making, which is related to low frequencies uh, of brain activity, specifically called uh, theta activity, with a specific signature which is over the frontal part of the, of the head. It's a frontal medial uh, theta. Uh, we're looking for, uh, specifically for the signature and we have found it in our uh, pilot testing. So we observed that very, very clearly in novices as well as in experts. Our experts, uh, the analysis is still ongoing, but it appears that this uh, um, signature is a little bit more pronounced in experts and this is what we will be focusing on. A mistake perhaps, um, and now we see that they had a gun, and number four, which means that they, they grabbed their sidearm in response. We try and put them into them stressful situations so that when it comes to that real life scenario where they have to point a gun at somebody, then the way in which they communicate with them people, the way that which they act upon themselves, they're not only highly professional, but they're compassionate and they make the correct decisions. I want you to go down to your knees, do it now. Okay, I want you to lie face first on the floor, arms spread out to your side. Palms up, cross your ankles. Do not move, do you understand? What science can do is build together a model that is akin as a proxy to those pressures, but clearly they'll never fully simulate you know, life or death 
for officers or members of the public. But I think we can get very close to that to unpick the kind of decisions that officers have to make and live with.